What's going on YouTube welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. So guys, three new Telegram missions were added today. They're called a tough business. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can play them. I also played the first two on hard and standard. So I'm also going to tell you guys how much they earn approximately. So first of all, you have to go to the post office to collect your mail. You can also do this in your camp, of course. And when you do that, you will basically see when you collect deliveries that you have one that is called a tough business. Go ahead and collect it, go outside, go to your satchel, go to documents, then go to telegrams. Make sure, by the way, guys, that you're doing this on foot, because if you're on your horse, you cannot open telegrams. I've had a lot of comments like this about the other telegram missions as well, so make sure that you're on foot. So in telegrams, normally you have three options right now. Pick the last one. It's a tough business. And then you have three missions. First time you do it, all of them will be on standard. The first one is called Good and Dead. I'm just going to give you guys a small summary of what this mission is like so you guys have an idea. So in the first one, you go to St. Denise. There is a gang leader that you have to find. You have to kill him. He has a leather. Loot him. Take the leather and retrieve it. Now, very important with these missions, guys. If you actually do them on stealth... So if you don't alert anyone, you always get a bigger reward, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Now in the first one, you get a description for the gang leader, by the way. It's always the same, I think, an eye patch, a top hat. He looks like this. I've played it three times and it was always this guy. He also has like a certain route that he's following. So you have to find this guy and kill him in stealth. Now another thing that's very important about these missions is basically that you don't see the enemies on the map. So this was the gang leader, the gang members are the enemies, I didn't see them on the map. Even on standard you don't see them on the map. And also in these missions, again even on standard, it's always free aim. So the first time I did this one, I couldn't do it on stealth. I think I got too close to the guy, he got suspicious and then he just started running away. But anyway, I finished it, 0.16 gold. 257 XP and $17. So this is on standard with alerting them. So not really doing it the right way. If you don't do it on stealth, you get a 15 minute cooldown, by the way, for starting the other tough business missions. Now, after this, I also did the good and dead mission on heart just to see how much I would get then. And this time I actually managed to do it on stealth. So the guy, again, he was looking the exact same. I don't know if this will be the case every time, but I did it three times, always the same guy and always walking the same route. So over here in this alley, I just stabbed them, I looted them, and that's basically it. So not that difficult if you know how to do the mission. So this time, the second time on hard, I think I did it too fast because I only got 0.08 gold while it was on hard and also stealth. So I should get more, but on standard, I got like 0.16, also $16. So I just think that on hard, I did it too fast. When you do it on stealth, when you do it the right way, no cooldown time, by the way. So that's pretty cool. Now I also did the second one on standard and on hard. I haven't done the third one yet, but I will do it. Maybe I will even make a guide about all these three missions on rootless. So how to do them stealth. But basically in the second one, a cold day in hell. You're in the snow. You're looking for a list. You have three buildings where you have to look. Again, it's free aim. Again, you don't see the enemies on the map, even on standard. So I think it's a really cool stealth mission. Now for me... I did it two times, like I said, it was always in the first loot box, so in the building the closest to you when you start the mission, but I don't think this will always be the case. So you just look in all three buildings, find a chest, and one of them has a list. Then you just have to bring the list back, and that's it. So a concept that we see a lot, steal something, bring it back, but this time, free aim, no enemies on the map, so that's pretty cool. So on standard, for the second one, Doing it stealth, 0.24 gold and also $25 and 377 XP. So that's more the way it should be. And like I said, if you do it on stealth, no cooldown time. So that's pretty cool as well. So guys, that was pretty much it. Hope it was clear how to play it. And also, I hope you guys have a better idea of what kind of missions these are. If you guys want to see a guide for all these missions on Rootless, make sure to drop a like on this video and then I will post them. For the first two, I already kind of know how to do it, but the third one, I will have to see. That was it, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord in the description and peace out, you guys.